It's an issue that has plagued students like Leah Arthur for years. ITS, and specifically the wireless internet. Oftentimes it's really slow or just not very helpful because you're trying to do a project, you're trying to look things up and you can't. I can remember one time last semester where after a couple days of being unable to actually get on the internet, I had to go to a different spot on campus, emailed tech support, told them, like I told, I asked them to, it, what was wrong with the internet and they said they actually didn't even notice anything was wrong. Just this past school year, Wartburg's ITS has brought wireless to all of the dorms and every building on campus. Every year we implement more wireless. Uh, as you know, last summer the big project was putting wireless in the dorms. Even with the effort to make wireless on campus better, students have had their fair share of complaints. The ones that we're hearing about at the beginning of the semester and start of the school year registration. We've also had like with the wireless problems where students aren't getting enough signal. With those complaints, next year's student government has plans to make dealing with ITS a priority. I think that all students would say that they really need technology to do their homework um, and so we need to make sure that we um, give ITS the fiscal resources it needs. The main issue is that just because wireless is supposed to be everywhere doesn't mean it always is. The main problem that a lot of students are having is that you can connect to the internet right here, but if you move just a little bit closer to the edge of campus, you'll have no connection at all. In order to get this problem fixed, Wartburg's ITS is already hard at work. And we have, we have boosted the, uh, the signal strength on the antennas, and then we've also, in some places, we have relocated the access point to get, you know, in a better place for more coverage. But until then, students like Leah will have to hold on to the hope that ITS will make it faster <laughs> so it's actually useful. Reporting for WTV8 News, I'm Ben Hoppenworth.